Bellini in, Maurice East out. This is Borussia's game plan. December 31st, 2019 was the deadline by which the Bulgarian government should have applied for an exemption with the national capacity allocation mechanism that would have allowed the country to decide on a national basis how to manage generation capacities, blend classic generation with renew renewables and accommodate EU Green Deal policies at the national level. The deadline expired and the country is now facing 2025 by which it will have to wind up all support for its coal generation electricity uh, generation which will doom the industry to a quick and painful end. The regions of Stara Zagora and Hasko will be dealt a mortal blow. Something must have happened since September when the energy minister vouched that the coal generation plant would have guaranteed life and, and at least until 2030. Most observers trust this has been an intentional and willful move on the part of the Bulgarian government and Prime Minister Borisov. The decision to shut down the coal-based energy has been taken at the level of uh, uh, his office, not based on elaborate cost-benefit, risk and options analysis, but by oligarchs merging the interests of the green and the nuclear lobbies. The only way to identify demand for a new nuclear power capacity like the uh, MPP Belene is if the three TPPs in the Mauritius Basin are phased out. For the Bellini project, the Prime Minister explained uh, just two days ago that after the problematic Green Deal of the European Commission, which Bulgaria signed, uh, the development of the nuclear energy is essential. Uh, that is inevitable. Former President Plevneliev, who was until recently known for his opposition <coughs> to the Belene plant, suddenly changed course and started supporting the project. He is also known for, his, uh, for being pro-green and pro-climate change policy, which has now evolved into pro-nuclear. There is a game plan involving oligarchs close to the Prime Minister, which includes a mass pro-Belene, anti mauritsiist anti-coal campaign. It is not coincidental that the campaign to terminate the contracts with the American uh, thermal power plants, Maritz East 1 and Maritz East 3, on the false pretext illegal state aid has recently intensified. The Green Nuclear Gang needs both contracts terminated to deny the investors and the coal-based energy a chance to seek and fight capacity upgrade and replacement options, including gas fire generation and renewables. The same Green Nuclear Gang has already managed to engage the management of the state TPP Mauritius 2 into steps that systematically undermine the financial state of the uh, company, forcefully leading to a default. Harder to crack investors in, in uh, TPP Mauritius 1 and 3 are being harassed and subject to a negative campaign. Next week, talks on the terms to cancel the uh, contracts on Mauritius 1 and, um, and 3 prematurely kick off at the Ministry of Finance. Knowing well the mindset of the people behind this green nuclear gang of oligarchs, I trust they would rather see the government engage in lavish compensation of the U.S. investors than allow them to find a business solution that would extend the life of uh, the thermal power plants, Mauritius plants, either through new technologies, including, by the way, carbon capture, renewables, <coughs> or gas. The new Carthage, the Maritza East, must be destroyed. The ultimate peak of corruption, greed, and hypocrisy in post-transitional Bulgaria. Thank you.